Hello, my name is Savannah Gibson and I'm going to be talking about Amazon's competitive strategies and the plan that we um, recommend for implementation for Amazon. To start with the competitive strategies, um, we put together a matrix that basically shows um, the opportunities and the threats for Amazon as far as the strengths and weaknesses go for each opportunity and for each threat. So um, an opportunity strength would be, our major one would be that Amazon is the um, second largest retailer in the world. Um, being the second largest retailer in the world allows Amazon to use it to their advantage. They know that they have a wider range of audience compared to any other retailer in the world. And they know that they are consumers first pick. That's how they got to the title of being um, the second largest. So they know that consumers are naturally just looking towards them because they hold that title. An opportunity weakness would be um, employee morale and treatment. Amazon has a widely known issue of just a poor workplace for employees, um, poor treatment of employees, uh, expectations that are set way too high for employees' productivity. Um, and this just puts a lot of pressure on them and kind of creates an unhappy work environment. And um, but because of this weakness, they have the opportunity to promote a positive workplace in a friendly environment. So while it is a weakness, they definitely have room for improvement in that area. Um, some of the threats that come across as strengths are the third party opportunities. So um, Amazon has a lot of third party opportunities and this just, um, they have over 200,000 third party sellers. So since it's already so high, um, it's just easy for Amazon to build off of, you know, their name is out there. And once it's out there one time, out there 200,000 times, the um, word will easily spread and they can just build upon what they've already established. Um, a threat weakness is growing cybercrime. So Amazon, um, just they're easy target for cybercrime because they have so much personal information of their consumers and clients and customers that make purchases off of their website. Um, and with cybercrime on the rise, Amazon should take caution and do the necessary things to avoid any cybercrime. And this is a threat to Amazon simply because of the damage that could be done. Um, a lot of it is potential damage, but if somebody um, were to get that information, customer's information, were to end up in the wrong hands, the damages that could be done are huge and word would only spread that much faster that Amazon isn't secure, it doesn't have, you know, the proper technology to keep um, customer's information safe, so this is a huge threat and would be considered a weakness to a competitive strategy for Amazon. Um, our implementation plan, I wanted to start off with reading our case statement again, which is Amazon faces high retention rates and test investor slash stockholder relations due to the intense working environment and employee treatment. Without correction, Amazon faces potential labor issues and continued tense relations between investors, which could potentially impact the future of Amazon. So that's, we chose to put our case statement back into um, the implementation plan just as a reminder of what we're going towards, like what is the direction that we're trying to head in as far as um, strategizing for Amazon. And the first thing we would do was um, we would revamp the orientation process. So right now, the orientation process for Amazon is workers basically do the application process. They watch... Um, a couple hour session of orientation on the computers which is all done virtually and then when and if they get hired then they go in for their first day on site and they're trained what they do um, within their daily tasks and we think that this should totally get revamped as a hands-on um, instructor-led group training where employees would get paid so first they would get hired and then any time after they're hired, they would get paid. So they would get paid to watch any training videos, any orientation videos. Anytime they come into the factory, they are getting paid. And this thinks, or we think that um, this would just retract a lot of, and attain a lot of employees if they're getting paid right from the beginning of the time that they're hired and they're not doing all this extra work beforehand. Um, the average cost of orientation is about $1,252 per session, 
And this would basically be um, done as as necessary and as needed. So when there's a new group of people who are being hired in, we would have an orientation session and we would just revamp and we would restate the morals, um, the values, the direction that Amazon is heading in, just so these employees can truly know what the goals of Amazon are from the very first day that they're hired and they're going to be happy about getting paid. Um, we also wanted to revamp the management training. Um, we thought that the if we train the managers and take out each department of managers on separate occasions and send them to a retreat where they teach like the morals and the values and the goals of Amazon, if we're teaching the managers the managers and this can trickle down into the employees so it would only be a one-time session per manager and this would basically be them just understanding the responsibilities and changes for the decision making skills a one-time day retreat would cost about fifteen hundred dollars per session which amazon can expect to you know spend this amount per session depending on how many departments how big they want to make the groups of sessions so um they could take the $1,500 and just decide on how they want to do that. But it is important to know, you know, more one-on-one, -on -one, you'll get the most effective training session out of when it's more um, hands-on for each individual manager. Manager. Um, so the timing of this um, implementation plan is basically for the orientation. This is going to be as needed, like I said, um, as they find that positions need to be filled, they're going to hire the number of positions that need to be filled. And then after everybody's hired, they're going to take a whole group and put them through orientation training just so not every single person that's hired is going to require a whole entire new orientation session. It can be done as a group. And then management training timing, um, we're thinking that we would want to implement this the end of a quarter just for a fresh start as you continue into that next quarter. Um, you'll have those skills to take with you. And then we would pull different um, districts individually. So overall, we kind of estimated that this would take a full year to get every district and every manager the um, proper training on that retreat. So how are we going to finance all of this? Um, in 2018, Amazon's earnings were $10.7 billion, and then in 2019, they were 11.59 billion and the earnings since 2019 have just continued to skyrocket so um we thought instead of taking their earnings and investing them into an external program we would just make a internal investment and take some of those earnings whatever is needed and just reinvest it into the program because by putting these earnings back into Amazon's company, we would be able to, it would still be an investment, but it would just be an internal investment where productivity is just way higher and these trainings really go a long way. So it would definitely be worth the cost. So who would implement these strategies? Because there are a lot of training of employees, it would definitely start with senior level management. Obviously, you'd want the CEO involved, but um the decision to implement these plans would definitely fall under the CEO, but who is actually implementing them is senior level management, regional managers, and then through the orientation process, that would be HR or human resources who would deal with that with just onboarding employees, orientation process that typically falls under the HR department. So our plan that, we, that we're recommending is... Um, basically to make Amazon's employee morale and employee treatment w much better and kind of revamp the values and morals that Amazon is going for. Um, since Amazon is so successful, there's definitely a small mar margin for improvement, but if you Google Amazon's biggest issues, employee morale is definitely one that will come up. So we just thought, why not go for exactly what's going to come up and exactly what's going to be um, <clears throat> discussed among society. Society is already saying, you know, Amazon's a terrible place to work for. So revamping that will not only internally make the firm better, but externally just draw in more customers when they're hearing positive things about Amazon instead of negative things. Um, our conclusion is new and improved working conditions, improved labor wages, improved employee treatment, productivity expectations, and employee morale will ultimately 
draw in more customers and draw in more employees. And when you have happy employees that are happier to go to work, they're going to be happier to do their daily jobs and productivity is going to skyrocket and the quality and the quantity of the products and services are going to skyrocket as well. <clears throat> when you have employees who are happy to do their job and they don't even look at it as a job, that's when the firm truly can be proud of itself and um, make big changes and big advancements towards their final goals. Because after all, happier employees equals more success. And that is why we are choosing to implement these type of plans.